close your eyes and keep your awareness on the breath. This is a choice you have to make, and you keep on making it as you stay with the breath. Because other thoughts will come up, thoughts that pull you away from the breath, and you have to say no, and you come back to the breath. And you have to keep on saying no. There will come a point where the thoughts get further and further between. But in the beginning, you've got to fight them off. This way you assert some control over your mind. We live in a world where there are so few things we can control. You look at the news outside and you wonder how far people are going to go on continuing to be stupid. And you ask yourself, well, how much can I control that out there? It's not the case that we don't have any control at all, but it's pretty small. But the area where we could be exerting control, we tend not to do it. In other words, in our own minds. We figure, I can think about whatever I want and follow my whims or wherever they go. And I'm not going to suffer. Well, we suffer because we can't control our minds. Because when things come up that could make us suffer from outside, if we're not really skillful, that suffering is going to be pulled right into the mind. The mind will pull it in and harm itself. This is where we go wrong. I mean, there are going to be things outside that are not good. That's the ordinary part of the world. But we don't have to use them to make ourselves suffer. It's like those fish they make in Japan. There's a blowfish that has a little poisonous part, and they take out the poisonous part, and then you can eat the fish. Well, the poisonous part is our greed, aversion, and delusion. You have to get rid of those. And once you're rid of those, okay, then you can deal with the fish outside, deal with the events outside, and not have to suffer. And when you're not suffering, then you can actually see clearly what needs to be done and what you can do. Our own suffering blinds us to things outside, blinds us to what our abilities are. Because sometimes it's really overwhelming. So we have to learn how not to make ourselves suffer. And when we don't make ourselves suffer, nothing outside can make us suffer. And we're in a better position to see what we can do for the world what things outside we can control, what things we can't control. Focus on the things that we can, so that we can make the world a better place, too. But it starts by getting some control over the part of you that needs the most control, which is your mind. Because otherwise, even though you may want to help the world, if you can't see things clearly, your help is going to be scattershot and ineffective, and sometimes counterproductive. So straighten things out here. If the mind wanders off, bring it back. It wanders off again, bring it back again. Ten times, a hundred times, just keep bringing it back. Don't give in. And give yourself a good place to stay with the breath. Make the breath comfortable. So it's nice to come back. And that's how you begin to exert some intelligent control over your mind. And that's when you can really begin to rely on yourself.